Hi guys! Have you ever felt that using SketchUp gets slow with time? Some people face this challenge, especially if they are new to SketchUp. There are some reasons your SketchUp model can become slow. And in this video, we will talk about what is causing the slowdown and how to improve your overall performance and workflow. So this is the house I'm teaching in my Ultimate SketchUp course. And it's a great example, as it is a big file with multiple rooms, furniture and materials. In my course I basically teach you from the beginning on how to create and maintain a clean file. First of all, let me show you the computer I'm working with. So, I'm working with an iMac from 2020 with a 3.3 6-core i5 processor. Not the newest, but still works great. My graphic card is an AMD Radeon Pro 5300 with 4GB RAM. So those are pretty standard for this type of iMac. Now in 2024, I'm sure you even get better computers. So tip number one, increased memory RAM. If you have the budget, I recommend to upgrade your RAM memory. I think my iMac came with 4 or 8 GB, I can't remember, but I was able to upgrade my iMac with a total of 48 GB RAM. It was truly a game changer and helped me in handling huge SketchUp files without this constant loading symbol. My next tip number two, work with tags or layers. I see some people like to create tags or so-called layers for everything. For doors, for windows, for floors. That is very excessive and won't help you with your workflow. If you are taking my course, you will see that I create certain layers that make sense to me. For instance, I create tags for single rooms. So I place all my furniture on this single tag. When I'm done working with one specific room, I turn off my tag, then start creating a new tag for the next room and so on. You don't have to follow exactly this workflow, you can define your own tags. What I mean is to make it in a way you can turn them off when not needed, as the more furniture and accessories SketchUp needs to load, every time you orbit around, the slower your file can get. Tip number three, purge unused. While working or before saving your file at the end of the day, take a moment to navigate to Window Model Info, choose Statistics and hit Purge Unused. If you are doing this on an older file and have never cleared unused components, materials, styles and tags, the process might take some time especially if you have directly loaded furniture and materials into your working file. In such cases, it's best to let it run and complete the cleaner process. So, to not run into this issue, I recommend Tip number 4. Don't load furniture and accessories directly into your file. As I mentioned earlier, the temptation to directly grab furniture from the SketchUp warehouse and insert it into your ongoing design project can be strong. However, there is a significant drawback to this approach. Those files come from various creators and they might be quite messy. When you load a furniture piece, you are bringing in not just the item, but also its styles, tags, materials and components. For beginners who might not be familiar with regularly purging unused elements, this can lead to a great deal slowdown of your project file. So here's the helpful practice I follow. Instead of directly placing furniture into my main project, I open a separate file alongside my project. In this separate file, I load all the furniture and accessories giving me a chance to tidy up the file by removing unnecessary tags and purging unused elements. Only after this cleanup, I do copy and place the refined furniture into my actual design project. Tip 
It's crucial to note that if you decide to remove a piece from your project after placing it, the materials and components from that piece might still linger in your project. That's where a regular use of the purge unused function becomes essential to both your SketchUp Warehouse importing file and your current design project. If you notice that loading some furniture pieces from the warehouse becomes slow in general, consider downloading it to your desktop and import it from there instead of placing it directly from the warehouse. Tip number five, anti-aliased texture. In the window model info section, under the rendering tab, you will find a small checkbox related to using anti-aliased textures. This option is designed to enhance the visual quality of textures by smoothing their edges, reducing the jagged or pixelated appearance. Here's a practical tip. When actively working on your files and smooth texture previews are not a priority, you can uncheck this option. This can help speed up your workflow and preserve system performance. However, when it comes time to create video presentations or so showcase your file to a client, it's a good practice to turn on anti-aliased textures. This setting ensures a more polished and refined look. Smoothing out texture edges for visually appealing results. Just remember, toggling this option based on your current task can contribute to an optimized performance experience. Take a screenshot so you don't forget about this setting. Next tip number six, open GL settings. Now the next setting you can adjust is under SketchUp preferences. You can find it under open GL or graphics depending on the SketchUp version you are using. Be careful, this setting is going to be set for all future SketchUp projects you will open, as this is a general setting, not related to one specific model. So these two checkboxes can slow down your performance, especially the use maximum texture size. If you have a normal sized model, you can consider keeping it on, but if you're working with huge files, you can turn it off during your time of your design process. You will notice that images or materials may be lowered in quality, which will help during your modeling process. Again, if you need to showcase your file to your client, just click it back on. Take a screenshot so you don't forget about this setting as well. And lastly, tip number seven, adjust the current style. Depending on the template selected when creating your model initially, a specific style becomes activated in SketchUp. To check the active style, navigate to Window Styles and select In Model. If you are working on a Windows, you find the window within your other windows on the right side. Here you will find the current active style. In my case, I have my own styles active, which I also share in my course with you. They have been adjusted to look more crisp and clean. However, you might have chosen an interior template or another version. Locate the surface icon, which is the second one. Typically, shaded with textures is active if you are not currently working with textures and are focusing solely on modeling or building, consider switching to just shaded. This turns off the materials and you can always switch back to shaded with textures when needed. This adjustment can strongly contribute to better performance, especially when handling large files. Another significant factor in the style setting is the setting for edges represented by the first icon. While edges enhance the visual appeal, 
they can slow down your model when there are too many edges that SketchUp needs to render. Therefore, you can turn off this setting while actively working and switch it back on before presenting your project. And now let's take a look at the notable improvement in my performance while orbiting. I'm working with an increased RAM memory. And with nearly all the tags active, I'm confident that selectively enabling only the tags relevant to the rooms I'm working on will further enhance the speed. After purging unused entities, turning off the anti-aliased, unchecking the used maximum texture size, and adjusting my style, particularly the edges, I can already witness a significant boost and the fluidity of orbiting within my file. Okay guys, feel free to share your thoughts. I believe these insights can immensely bene be beneficial, especially if you are facing speed challenges in SketchUp. For me, maintaining a clean file is the top priority for a truly enjoyable design creation experience. Wishing you all a wonderful day.